and we back. Before this season started, I made a video on my Kenny Friel channel called The Wizards Could Be Generationally Bad. And it's coming to fruition in, in real life uh, where they have only two wins on a season. It's back-to-back -back wins versus the Atlanta Hawks. But other than that, they've lost every single game. And currently they are sitting on a 15 game losing streak, 19 games into the season. Oh my. Uh, my job today is to turn this team into an NBA champion. This is not supposed to be hyper-realistic, but I'm going to try my best to do some cool stuff. Leave a like, subscribe. Let's try to get this Washington Wizards team a ring. So I think the first thing we got to do is add Jonas Valanciunas to the trade block. Add Cal Kuzma to the trade block. Add Malcolm Brogdon to the trade block. Jordan Poole, I guess. I just don't know if we'll have any takers there. And then even a guy like Marvin Bagley last year for his deal. Everybody not named Bilal Koulibaly, not named Alex Sar, not named Keontae George. I'm sorry, Keontae George, Keyshawn George, um, or Bub Carrington. Everybody else could go. I got no idea of what the progression looks like for these younger players, so we got to keep a lookout on that. Um, let's just continue to lose, I guess, because we do have our own first round pick in this class. It's Cooper Flag, Ace Bailey, Dylan Harper, so on and so forth. So I want to make sure that we get one of those top picks and then we'll start to turn things around. I'm going to go ahead and get my scouting done. Somehow Cooper Flag is sitting at four on the NS ranking. That's cool with me. That means that gives a high, us a higher opportunity to get them. And we lose another game. And we lose, we're going to lose a lot of games, okay? And I'm going to probably go to... Let's just go to day of the deadline. You know, we'll see if we get some pop-up trades here or there. Oh, my God, we won a basketball game. I did not think that was even possible. Jordan Poole, thank you. Uh, we're going to go to, like, the deadline, and we'll see who's buying. Because we want to draft. We want to stock up on draft capital. We want to try to get some extra filler um, young talent, you know, some some guys that might have been second-round picks that somehow I can turn into be ad average NBA players. I don't know. We just want to make sure we get as many shots at getting a young star. Every single trade that I was offered was awful. So now, we, man, they're selling. Um, now we got to figure out how we drop our own, right? I'm thinking about, like, this is not real life, so the second April doesn't exist. So some of these teams that shouldn't be able to aggregate contracts in real life can aggregate contracts, and I'm going to take advantage of that. Like, the Milwaukee Bucks will probably have some really juicy first-round picks, and I'm kind of interested in that. For whatever reason, the Bulls are buying. But Patrick Williams is available. See, that's if they're buying. And a young 23-year-old power forward, let's be real, Patrick Williams is not going to be no star. But, like, we can convince ourselves that he's worth trading for. If they are buying, right, they could maybe want cool. This is when I say this is not in the realm of realism because the Bulls are, are above 500 by a good margin. So, um, not in the realm of realism. But they got Patrick Williams on the block. And if they're trading Patrick Williams, maybe that means that they could want Kyle Kuzma. Sheesh. Uh, okay, keep it moving. Some more contending teams. Here's another buying team. Chris Dunn, Norman Powell, and Terrence Mann are all in the trade block. I wonder if there's going to be any team that wants one of our players. You see how they say DFS and Victor Webb and Yama's on their target list. Good luck with that. Um, they're looking to trade Trey Young. Okay. Terry Rozier, Hayward Highsmith. The Miami Heat are another team that I'm like, hey, I can get you Kuzma. You feel me? I can get you Kuzma. But they're also selling, so they don't want Kuzma. I, I didn't realize that. Another buying team, Demontis Sabonis, Malik Monk, Kevin Hurd, or one other. This is a team that... Oh, oh yeah, I'm about to do something crazy. I already feel it. I feel like we're about to do something crazy. Okay, first one that I want to try, right? First one I want to try is the Patrick Williams trade. Patrick Williams is, is making $18 million. Cal Kuzma is making 23. The money matches up as is. And if we say, hey, Chicago, we want your 2027 because we don't think you're going to be good. Oh, we want your 2028 because we don't think you're going to be good. That might be good enough. The other option other than Patrick Williams is a Keegan Murray trade. <laughs> now, it's not that even much of an overall difference. They're basically the same overall player. But maybe... Um, if we add some other pieces, right, we give them more. We give them other good players. We give them Sadiq Bay. You know what I'm saying? You get two for the price of just Keegan Murray. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want draft capital in this hypothetical trade because Keegan Murray is the draft capital. Now, he's 24 years old, a little bit on the older side for the young players, but I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested. Josh Giddy's out for the C's with a crack neck vertebrae. Sheesh, bro. That's like one of the nastiest... Injury titles. Uh, uh, anyway, I think we go after Keegan Murray. We offer that trade. They're, they want Rashawn Holmes. They'll give us Malik Monk. I don't want Malik Monk. Now, that's just a finesse job. I feel like that's strictly a finesse job. I'm, I'm willing to give you, if you want Rashawn Holmes, he's yours. 
But I can't, and I can't tell you, oh, Trey Lyles is out. See, Trey Lyles makes this make sense. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trade for Trey Lyles. I'm gonna make him uninjured. Because in real life, you can trade for injured players. So you just have to realize that they're injured. So I will make him uninjured and then re-injure him once he gets on the team. And I will remember it this time because last time I forgot, I ain't gonna lie. So we're talking about what type of injury. We have a torn right bicep in 57 days. I just took a picture so I don't forget. And we're gonna go trade for the injured Trey Lyles. And we might have a deal here. You know, you can, again, Rashad Holmes, shout out to you, my guy. At once upon a time, I really enjoyed your game. Nowadays, I don't really get to watch you play much. Cause I'm be honest with you, I'm not out there watching watch the Wizards games. I'm not, I can watch some Bilal Koulibaly highlights here and there, but that's pretty much it. So we'll give them Rashawn Holmes, like they said, and then we'll give them Sadiq Bey, who in real life is also injured at the trade exception. And they want to give us a first. No, you know, just take the second and get out of here. They really want to give us their first round pick. All right. That might be the most idiotic um, trade negotiations that you could have, but the deal is done. Let's go get this bicep injury back. I don't feel like looking for bicep, so he's going to have an Achilles now. <laughs> it went from his bicep to from his arm to his leg, baby. Okay, so that's a cool trade where we got Keegan Murray to be a part of this young team. We're going to have to pay him soon, but I'm not tripping about that. And now that we see that Josh Giddy is out with his injury, I don't. I guess I don't need Patrick Williams and Keegan Murray on this, this young team. Right, because Bilal, hmm, because you know, we got Alex Sar. I, I'm looking at Alex Sar to be a full time five man, right? And he's gonna have to play five. So if we have Keegan Murray, we can move Bilal up. Actually, you know what? Let's take the shots. Let's take the shots. And then this hypothetical, we'd have to give them Malcolm Brogdon because Malcolm Brogdon um, fills in for the non Josh Giddy opportunities, right? So we give them that. And let's say, can we get a 2028 first? Uh, they want a second in return deal. We just did two blockbusters. Big sale job, big sale job. We got Patrick Williams on the team with our guy, Keegan. And then now we pull off a Jonas Valanciunas move. Let's figure out a, a buying team or a solid team that could be looking for a center. Here's one. Um, I might legitimately trade him for De'Anthony Melton and just get like two seconds. De'Anthony Melton in two seconds. Y'all want a center? We can get you a center. Oh, they traded for PJ Washington too. So they traded away Draymond Green. Oh, okay. All right. So it's not, huh? Okay. So wait, 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 wait. Draymond is in. Yes. All right. I could not have expected that <laughs> at all. What if we get uh, Zeke Naji? I almost called him Naji Marshall. What if we get Zeke Naji in some seconds? Is that realistic? I don't know. But they always are looking for good players, right? Money matches perfectly. Actually, yeah. Give us Jokic. No. Give us. You don't even have seconds. They didn't even got seconds, y'all. I tried to make a cool little deal. They ain't even got seconds over there. Just, I just wanted two second rounders. They ain't, you ain't got two seconds. Oh, you got the Lakers. The Lakers can make this happen with two seconds for sure. But one of my seconds got to be Bronny James. What you think now? What you think now? You gonna get? You gonna make it happen now? Uh, they need about nine, ten million dollars. We'll, we'll take back. They traded for T.J. McConnell. What is happening in my simulation? We'll take. Ooh, Jared Vanderbilt is healthy finally. Look at all these point guards. We'll take D'Angelo Russell back in, um, in two seconds. D'Angelo Russell, two seconds. And you got yourself a deal. We exchange one. D'Angelo Russell, we don't really need you on the team, but we already traded Malcolm Brogdon away. You're going to get some backup point guard minutes. And that might be the last trade we do. And that might be our last trade. I'm not mad at the moves that we made. We have gone completely into the tank if we haven't already. We're going to make Patrick Williams a three-man. We're going to make Bilal Koulibaly a two-man, which is crazy because he, he just was a shooting guard earlier this season. They're trying to tell me his overall drops that much. He literally started off the game as a shooting guard, 2K, and now you're telling me he's going to be that much worse? No, that's not realistic. Whatever. So our starting lineup is going to be Jordan Poole. It's going to be Bilal Koulibaly. Forget the Kevin Herter minutes. That not even interested in Kevin Herter minutes. We're going to give Bilal Koulibaly real, real minutes. Patrick Williams... Keegan Murray, Alex Saar. Uh, we need some backup center minutes. Do we have a back? Oh, well, it, it would be Bagley. How long were you out, Bag? He's out for one or two weeks. So Bagley will come back. He'll get some backup center minutes. But I think that's it. We want to give Keon Keyshawn George some more minutes. And Bob Carrington deserve more than that. But we can't. I'm sorry. Kevin Herter, you're not playing for us this season. We, we're actually going to trade you in the offseason. You might as well stay at the crib. You're not really a part of this team. I ain't going to lie. You're not a part of this team. You're not a part of this future. You're not a part of nothing. All right, Bilal, now that we've got rid of some of the other shot takers, we're going to raise your shot, Tennessee, a little bit to 76, 77. 
We're going to take Keegan Murray and turn him into more of a scorer. He's going to be 77. Patrick Williams is going to be 70. And Alex Starr wants you a 70 as well. Let's just divvy up these shots a little bit better um, and then get Bub Carrington at 70. All right, okay. We should be bad, bad, bad. And that's that's by design. These are MVP numbers now? 27? Well, that's a triple-double. Never mind. I'm sorry. And he was 54. Okay, my fault. I'm my fault. Jeremy Kane did his thing. I'm a Tom Six Man in here. Victor Miyama, DPOY, uh, Walker Kessler, most improved player. And everybody's numbers look down. 21? Jokic is averaging 30 in real life right now. I wonder if start today is broken. <laughs> um, let's take a look at some of the other, other players. 20 points per game. Giannis is 23. Yeah, start today is just broken. Okay, good to know. Everybody's averages are significantly down. So I guess we can't look at statistics in this video because start today broke it all. Who led the league in scoring then, 2K? Who, 20, yeah, 26.7 led the league in scoring, man. We ain't had a... Uh, a scoring outburst this low since 10 years ago, I guess. There's only 21 players that average 20 points per game. Like, what, what, what is that in real life right now? Let's look at that. NBA PPG. I'm Googling it. As today, there are 40. There are 40 players that are averaging 20 or more. Smaller sample size than an 82-game season. But I just think, again, we can't really look at stats in today's video, I guess. Uh, obviously, as you can imagine, we didn't make the playoffs. We ended up with a record of 24-58, which means that we were actually a little bit decent. Nah, we were better in the second half of the season than the first half. We'll just say that. That won't make us decent. Um, The Kings are in the finals. Alert, alert. Rashawn Holmes, Sadiq Bey, and Kyle Kuzma have turned the Kings to an NBA finalist. The Bulls, the, t the other team we did a trade with was in the conference finals. We just helped build some goaded teams. Accidentally, I'm, I'm just the GM of the year. I'm, I'm rebuilding everybody's team. Now they lost to Carthony Towns. Bro, why are these scores so low? I'm actually, this it's bothering, it's actually bothering me because we won't get a full little grasp of some of our players if everybody's averages is that low. Do I need to tinker with some some sliders? Whatever, again, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Uh, let's go to league meetings and uh, change nothing. Here we go, NBA Draft Lottery, have our own first and it is projected. Why do the, they say the Knicks have our pick? Why does it say the Knicks have our pick? D no, they don't. They don't. We got second overall pick, baby. So we did. We were projected four. We got up to number two. So we got the second overall pick. Do we have any other picks? Any other picks we have? That's it for this year. Hey, second overall pick. Now, there's a world we can still end up with Cooper Flag. There's a world we can still end up with Cooper Flag. It's really, really dependent on what the uh, Trailblazers do. They feel like a Cooper Flag team. No, I ain't gonna lie. They took Ace Bailey. Cooper Flag falls to two. We not go overthink it. We're gonna take Cooper Flack and bring him to DC. Beautiful. Dylan Harper is three. Trey Johnson is four. Uh, Nolan is five. Then we get Donnie Freeman. And I'm familiar with your game, buddy. BJ Edgecombe, okay. There's Igor or Jaeger. Um, we have a trade to announce. And it will be the ninth overall pick. So the, the Knicks win the championship and then trade for the ninth overall pick using our pick. That said, uh, was that our pick 2026 first? They take Carter Bryant. Who are these dudes? Is that a real guy? Carter Bryant, Arizona. Yeah, that's a real dude. I He played 11 minutes last game and got zero points and six rebounds. I'm not saying he's not a stud, but my first impression of zero points. He's averaging four points per game this season. Is he, is he a real prospect is the question. I don't know. Um, I know that name. I know that name. I don't know that name. I need to lock you. I know Drake Powell. Okay. Another trade to announce. Yes. 14th overall pick. I didn't even get to see it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. We have another pick. It's probably the second rounder. It is. Is there any name here we recognize? Dame Saar from Italy. We got Alex Saar on the team. Related? No. No, they're not. But for the memes, I'm very close to taking them. I watched this guy play the other day on uh, Thanksgiving. He had a couple tray balls from uh, Illinois, right? Um, yeah. His brothers in that game. So here's another guy that used to play for Illinois, right? Oh, I'm kind of locked in. I'm a little bit locked in. No, I'm going to take um, this Dame Sar guy because I think it's funny to have two people named Sar on the team. That's really, really it. So 80 overall for Cooper Flag is pretty dope. All right, so we win the draft, I think. We also got Adama Ball from Santa, Cl Santa Clara. So, you know, I don't know if any of those guys are going to play ever, but we did some stuff. We're going to let Johnny Davis walk, but we will get Bilal Kulabali and, and Kenny um, no, not Kenny. His name is Keegan. But it would be cool if his name was Kenny. <laughs> All right, so we have um, a little bit of money to spend, I believe. I don't know how much we're going to use, right? We got a lot of shooting guards now, even though 
like I said, Keegan or, or no, Kevin Herter's not really a part of the team. I might trade Kevin Herter right now. Um, see if we can find a team that's interested in him. You know, he is still a guy that can hit a bunch of threes. He's $17 million. Oh, he shot 31% from three last year. He's going to stay on the team. I'm not trading him right now. We can use another center. We could use another point guard. Um, Bonzo Ball is sitting in there. I'm, I'm the type of guy that usually takes a year to be bad. Then after that year is wrapped up, I, I not saying I want to compete for a championship because we're very far away from that, but I don't want to be a 20 win team again, right? The Wizards fans have gone through enough. So I'm, I'm really interested in the guy like Trey Mann, who's restricted. So I feel like he's going to get matched, but we got a little bit of money to spend. So I'm going to throw him $10 million annually. In real life, he's probably going to get a good amount more than that, but this is not real life. And then also, I, I want to throw Ben Simmons a little bit of money. I think this is where Ben Simmons comes in as our backup center. He actually helps us a lot. So I'm going to do those two. Um, Johnny Davis, get out of here. And then, yeah, come on. Are they going to match the Trey Mann? The answer is no. Trey Mann is a Washington Wizard. Whoa, Trey Mann and Jordan Poole is our point guards. What a time to be alive, baby. What a time to be alive. So, yeah, we got that. And then now we need a backup four-man to run a little bit. Santi Aldama is almost perfect for it. Can we somehow steal him too? You know, just we out here giving money to restrict the free agents. I think they're going to match six million. They don't. Wow. So we get Santi Aldama too. We just came in and snuck. We snuck in and won two restrict the free agency battles. That's pretty elite. So we do see Alex Sar jump five. Bub Carrington jump four. Bilal Kulbali only jumped two. I really want Bilal to be our Giannis. So it's, it sucks that he's not jumping like that. Patrick Williams jumps. Four. Keegan Murray dropped at 24? He dropped that. Okay, whatever. We still have Patrick Williams, who's getting better. Come on, P. Willie. Come on, P. Willie. This is your time to shine. Even, even Ben Sim is still getting better at age 67. Yo, Santi Aldama's dropping two? Yeah, they, they messed us up on this one. I don't know how that 24-year-old really good play. How we get an update in the middle of my video? Um, we need to release one guy. I don't know how Santi gets worse right now. That doesn't even make sense. We're going to release uh, this ball, the uh, third, fourth ball brother. Yeah, just not his time. He can go play with Leangelo, wherever Leangelo's hooping at. That's not nice. I'm sorry. I didn't even know why I said that. All right. Let's go ahead and get whatever this update is going. And I think there's a world. Now, maybe I'm crazy. I think there's a world where we can be slight. I mean, slight buyers. Slight buyers. That's all I'm saying. Especially if Keegan Murray's not going to be good. Bro, him not getting better and actually getting worse is blowing my mind right now. No one in real life, he's really struggling. So, you know, I guess it's not that crazy. Um, I actually don't mind this rotation. It's Poole, it's Bilal, it's Cooper Flag. Um, Patrick Williams was pretty good last year, y'all. How do I start all of them? <laughs> I don't think you can. Unless we say, you remember that one year Giannis was the starting point guard for the Bucks when he was young? Bilal is a point guard. Uh, nah, nah. But, nah, nah. But, uh, Jordan Poole is a six-man. Sounds kind of cool. No. All right, it's cool. Patrick Williams just come off the bench. Or do we start him over, you know, uh, Mr. Murray? Since Murray's not good. Oh, no. You know what? Patrick Williams only got really better because we changed positions to the three. So, anyway, we're just going to run with the, the lineup we got. Jordan Poole for Drew Holiday and Peyton Pritchard. No. Um, which is a crazy thing to say no to. But, no. Cooper Flag's first game is 16-6-3. What is your shot, Tennessee Coop? Because I want to make sure that you get the opportunity to be the best version of yourself. It's at an 80, which is one of the highest on the team. I'm not against that. Keep it moving. Um, one thing we will do, Bilal Kulabali gets hurt. He's going to play through that. We won two games. We're going to keep Jordan Poole on the block. We're going to, I guess, just put Keegan on there just to see what's going to what's gonna happen. And then we will do the same thing with uh, Kevin. Like, contractually, if we wanted to go get a star, Kevin, Jordan, and Keegan... Could go get us that star. That's just if everything is going perfectly, which I don't think is going to happen. I don't think everything will go perfect. But I'm just saying there's a world we walk out with a star. I'm, I, listen, it's unlikely. But the way them boys hooping, if we keep this 2-1 to one to win ratio, let's say we stay 500. I'm interested in buying. I said if we're about 500, I might be a buyer and we're about 500. Um, Yeah, let's, let's take a look at some stats. Again, the stats are, are skewed because... Whatever. I, I can't even give you a real explanation to why the skew is just the way 2K is running this, this uh, simulation. So whatever. The league point per game score, number one, is averaging 23 points per. We have five people averaging. Bro, 
I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. Why would Jason Tatum and Nikola Jokic be averaging 18 points per game? I, 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 I'm, just, I'm, I'm at a loss, bro. We have no rule changes. It's literally just 2K being bad. That makes sense for Kyrie Irving to average 27, 27, 25, and then average 16 all of a sudden. Forget it, forget it, forget it. Let's not, let's, hmm, hmm. What are we in the early 2000s? Anyway, there's a world we can be buyers right now. Um, there's a world we can be buyers right now. Let's see who is selling. So the Bulls had their magnificent season last year, made it to the conference finals. Things ain't going as great this time around. And they are selling, but they don't really have anything I want. We have a Boston Celtics team that is the 14th seed, but they are buying. We have a rebuilding Clippers team. We have a rebuilding Grizzlies team. We have a rebuilding Hawks team. I'm looking at you, Mr. Trigger Trey. I'm looking at you. We could use some elite level point guard play. We got a selling Jazz team with Larry Market to be an injured right now. But, you know, out of these players, nobody really stand uh, look, looks great. We had a selling Lakers team with an injured Anthony Davis who has a torn right tricep. And Josh Giddy is on the Lakers on a $2 million deal. Shout out to him, I guess. The Magic are also selling. Franz Wagner is there, but is it just because, why does everybody have three star players injured? Why is, <laughs> oh my God, I hate this game. I wish we had some competitors. Ha ha ha. Let's see, another selling team, Devin, Devin, De Devin Armani. Is Devin Armani available? Because if Devin Armani Booker is available, I'm gonna call, pick up the phone and give them a call. Let's say, hey, I got some stuff for you. He can run our one. I'm gonna call their phone. Listen, Devin, right now we're 500 team, but with you, we can compete. We'll give them Jordan Poole, right? We'd give them, um, I guess we'd give them Keegan Murray, who's having a better season from sh shooting the ball than they did last year. But I don't, wait, 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 what, what is his projected extension looking like? I can't even see, can't even say. Um, Jordan Poole's gonna win 22. I just feel like he's gonna win a lot of money. And right now his production don't match that lot of money. And the Suns could be wanting, as a selling team, they could be wanting a uh, youngish player at 25 years old and then another youngish player at 26 years old. And then we throw them one of these young draft picks that he's a two-star value here. This guy's a one and a half star. Boom, we give them SAR. We like we like SAR, but we'll give them SAR. They give us back Saban Lee. Contracts match, they say no. This is where we say, hey, we have um this Kings pick. And then we got a pick from the Bulls too. Both of these teams are not amazing right now. They're not interested. And we say, hey, what about our, no, we can't give them our pick. What about the 76er pick? Deal, Devin, Armani Booker is in Washington, DC. And he's gonna go back to playing point guard for us. Play point guard a little bit over the last couple seasons. He's gonna do that. So our lineup right now is D Book, Bilal Kulabali, Cooper Flag, Patrick Williams over Santi Aldama. Unless Aldama's just playing better, he's not playing better. So I don't even know why they would do that. So we're gonna put Patrick Williams at the four. Um, and let's put him back. I, I guess that's why he's not officially a four. Unless Cooper Flag, Cooper Flag is gonna be the four, just because his overall doesn't change. So Cooper Flag goes to the four. Patrick Williams is gonna start at the three. Or they, they want Keyshawn George to start. He also is not playing great. Just stop putting all these, these dudes over Patrick Williams like he's not one of them ones. You see them stats, 10 points per game and stuff. He He's really nice. Uh, I think our bench is actually pretty good too. Ben Simmons is averaging four, four, and three. You got Corey Kispert who's shooting all right. We got Keyshawn. Uh, did I keep saying that? Keyshawn? Yeah, Keyshawn's right. And then we got Terrence Mann, Trey Mann. And then Bub Carrington is a super six man. He's having a great season, low key. Um, yeah, I like the team. I like the team. This is this is a year where we should at very at the bare minimum secure a playoff spot. Friends have described him as happy recently. Devin Booker got out of Phoenix and now he's in Washington and he's so, so very happy. I don't know if Washington, D.C. has those crazy homes that you live in in Arizona. I saw your house, Devin. I know you got it like that. I don't know if you can match that in, in D.C., but you do you do it well enough. You come to D.C. and win a championship, we let you live in a White House, Devin. I said it. 
whoever the sitting president, you got to move to an apartment down downtown. We let Devin Booker be in the White House. 21 point per game MVP. Hate this game. Cooper Flag is the rookie of the year, though. So let's say we add in plus 10 to everybody's stats. So Cooper Flag really averaged 24. That's crazy. Killing the game. But then that means Josh Giddy averaged 23. I don't like that no more. I don't like that no more. But here are all the stats. Um, we didn't get executive of the year, even though we traded for Devin Booker. I guess that's fine. Um, how, how are we with it? How are we with it? Washington. Washington, of course, we got that. We ended up as a playing team. But we only need to win one game to get in. And we did. Look at that. We're, we're going against the Toronto Raptors. Hey, successful season, regardless of what happens in the series. We have a successful se season. It is Booker versus Quickly, Bilal versus Grady. We got Pat versus RJ, Coop versus Scotty, and Sar versus Hurdle. All right. Book kind of look good in those jerseys, man. I ain't gonna lie. First game we lose, second game we win, third game we win. Oh my God, here's an upset. 3 1 series us. We're in the second round. Boo! And we got Charlotte because they upset the Cleveland Cavaliers. There's a, there's a chance that I'm getting tweets from who? The watch be telling all. Okay. So there's a chance we get to the conference finals because this team is good. Obviously, they beat the Cavs, but it ain't like we're going against a super juggernaut. LaMelo, Brandon Miller, Cody Martin, John Collins, Mark Williams. I really like John Collins on that team in real life. That would be kind of interesting if that happened. Game one, we lose. Okay, LaMelo Ball and Brandon Miller, down. we lost by almost 40. That didn't happen. Game two, we win. Yeah, that's the comeback that we... Man, LaMelo is like the only person still good. So how in the regular season, people average an 18, but we get to the postseason, they can average 30. Everybody's numbers are better in the postseason. That's not even... I'm gonna... You're gonna make me throw my hat, 2K. We win another game. And we lose another game. Game five, we lose. And we get to a game seven. Y'all know it's a game seven. I gotta go balls to the wall. We gonna go an eight man... No, 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 no. We're gonna go a six man rotation for game seven. We're going to say only people that can play are the people that can play. <laughs> if I was a coach, that would be my motto. The only people that can play are the people that can play. If you know, you know. We're going to go to the last couple minutes and lose. Okay. Well, we got to the second round of the playoffs. That is something that hasn't happened for the Washington Wizards in a very long time. Tyrese versus Anthony Edwards, and Tyrese ends up winning that seven-game series. Chris Paul's trying to retire. I'm going to tell him no. LeBron is retiring. Steph Curry, no. All right, so we don't have our own first round pick this year. It would have been not. It wouldn't have been valuable anyway. Um, it ends up being the 17th pick. I guess the 17th pick is pretty valuable, but not as valuable. I think we got a bunch of seconds, and that may work to our advantage. Honestly, let's see what we got. I'm gonna fire Brian Keith, and listen. I understand he was here through the tough times, and we made our first playoff series in a long time with him. But I see that Jason Kidd, I see that Michael Stafford, I see that Joe Mazzula, uh, Trent Peterson, like they are Nick Nurse is here, JJ Redick is here. There's a lot of great coaches. Uh, Mark Dayton all is here. Hold on. Kemba Walker? Oh, yeah, he is a coach in real life. Hey, Kim was in the game. That's pretty dope. So there are a lot of great coaches here. And, and shout out to Brian and help for helping us. But I think we should go. Can we bring Mazzula ball? to Washington, D.C. I'm going to try it, and I'm going to give him $10 million a year because, or oh, well, that's the most we can give him is, is nine. Okay, because um, it's it's really a struggle out here, I guess, if you the Boston Celtics. They never do well in 2K. So he comes to Washington. We just made the playoffs. He could be the missing piece, low-key. He could be the missing piece. So we got three second-round picks, one from the Bulls, one from the Wizards, one from the King, uh, the Knicks. There's a world where we use them to trade. I didn't use the Kevin Herter contract. I tr I tweaked, man. I should have used that Kevin Herter contract to get another good role player. It was $16 million just sitting, and now we losing it for nothing. And this draft stinks, so um, I'm just going to let my assistant GM to make all those decisions. The first overall pick is Dante Bass, 19-year-old out of Utah. He's going to Chicago. He's going to be a stud. I see it. And I'm not signing any of these dudes. They all look terrible. Ben Simmons, were you good for us last season? Three points per game. Again, all the numbers are skewed. He was a plus 16 in the, as a bench player. Uh, actually, I feel like if I do bring him back, I can bring him back for cheaper than $7 million. So I'm not going to give him that option. Or we can just get a better center. Like, we, we have a little bit of money to spare. So, like, a better center could be Isaiah Hardenstein at $11 million. Yeah. Yep. Ben Simmons, shout out to you. You know, slightly better. But Isaiah Hardenstein last year was 9 and 7. Even shot 40% from 3. Hold on, I heart. Come on to Washington. Uh-oh. Come on to Washington. Yes, sir. And I don't think he had any other options. So, yeah, he's going to come over to the Washington 
wizards um, and we're gonna look good. I mean, this is a year about progression more than anything, right? We do get that one signing, which is pretty clutch. We're gonna get a third string center. Oh my God, Ben Simmons is third string center now. I'm not mad at that. Get a third string center. Oh, never mind. And um, that might be it. For Young is just sitting in free agency with no offer, no real offer. Kevin Durant resigned. De'Aaron Fox went to the Clips. Uh, Vucevic went to the Jazz. The Suns trade away Devin Booker and use that money between him and Bradley Beal being gone to get Shaden Sharp out of restricted free agency. So Shaden Sharp and Kevin Durant is their new pairing. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Devin, Devin wanted a better scenario though, and he got it because we're going to win this championship, I think, if everything goes well. Cooper Flag jumps up eight. Alex Sard jumps up three. Bilal jumps up two. Bub Carrington jumps up three. Bub Carrington is competing with Bilal for that starting spot. Um, and they both could start because I can move Bilal back over to the three and then Patrick Williams is coming off the bench. You know, Patrick Williams is my guy, but he shouldn't be starting over better players, you know? So we might do that. Move Bilal over to the three. His overall should go up. Bub at the two. And I think we we might be good enough. We got Alex Sar and Cooper Flag defensively. That sounds pretty nice. So Bub Carrington, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. it started with Coop because oh or Bilal because Bilal is now an 86 overall. We had someone nerfed him by making him a shooting guard. So it is Book, it is Bub, it is Bilal, it is Coop, and it is Sar. Off the bench, it is Hartenstein, it is Trey Mann, it's Patrick Williams, Corey Kispert. And Keyshawn George, who's been kind of low-key just existing on this team, but even okay. Yeah, this is a team. And there's a world we can even get better if we are deciding to trade away some, some of those younger players. All right, first game of the season is a win. We put up 118 points. Second game is a win against the number one overall pick who was, you know, shot six of 15 from center. Not the greatest stat line, but whatever. Uh, they got Jaden Ivey now. Chicago tried to do some stuff, huh? All right, book MVP season, book it, book it. MVP, book it. The man is averaging 16. <laughs> oh, start today is so broken, oh my goodness. Um, and either way, I mean, we are good. We're not amazing, but we're good. And I'm trying to figure out what the move is to make us amazing, right? Uh, Bub Carrington is having a phenomenal season. Bilal Koulibaly is 16 and he's shooting almost 40% for three for the first time in his career. Cooper Flag is a stud. Alex Saar is averaging a block and a half and a steal. So I don't really know how we get this team that much better other than potentially using the Patrick Williams contract to go get like a super six man. I just, because we do have Keyshawn George here, right? And Keyshawn's just been waiting for his opportunity to get those minutes. And Patrick Williams is good. His per 36 numbers are actually elite. But if Keyshawn is just slightly worse but on a better contract, could we package Patrick Williams and Corey Kispert, who's also looking great right now, to go get a super six man? Because that, that contractually is getting us like 30 million in cap, right? Let me double check that. It's going to be uh, 18 for Patrick Williams. And then, yeah, so, so yeah, it's a world we package these two players together to go get a super six man. And when I say super six man, I mean somebody that is starting on his current team that is really good uh, that we can just take away because their team is bad. I mean, we can't get to Tyrese Maxey, Lord knows. That's not even a super six man above Carrington. Now you're the six man because Tyrese Maxey is the guy. I don't think we can get to that contracts, but if they're rebuilding, I'm interested. The Bulls, Jay Nivey signed for how much? One year, 24 million. He could be that super six man. He's averaging 17, four and four. I'm adding him to the list. I don't know. 99 year old Kawhi Leonard, 50 million. He's averaging how many points per game? Oh, I bet it's 12, 12, 10. Go cut. I'm going to end the video. Cut it out. Cut it out, bro. Cut it out. We got, okay, Vucevic. I'm really interested in that. We got iHeart. Um, Sabonis, not really interested in that. We have iHeart. Um, actually, just not a lot going on, huh? Not a lot of teams have stuff. What did Steph Curry sign for? Two years, 112? He tried to retire. I told him no. Yo, Dennis Schroeder's up to an 85 overall? Yo. He's having a really good year in real life. I have been, I don't be keeping up with the stat jumps other than remembering Jerry McCain has a higher overall than Kobe White, um, which I'm just never going to be happy with. Desmond Bain is on the trade block. That's what it says to me. He's a possibility, I think. Desmond Bain, is. they're looking to move Desmond Bain. I'm going to call. I, again, he's making more than a 30 million threshold that I just talked about, but I'm looking at it like Desmond Bain could start alongside Book and then Bub Carrington now becomes a super six man. So it would be Patrick Williams. It would be, um, yeah, Corey Kispert. 
contractually we're there. We get this guy, oh, we got to throw in another contract. And that's what makes it difficult because now we're giving up too much depth, I think, for one player upgrade. But then again, I think to myself, I am going to run as eight man rotation in the playoffs, maybe. I'm going to offer it. They're going to say yes. Okay. I was going to say they're, <clears throat> they were going to say no. And um, we see what their counter is, but they didn't give us a counter. They're starting I hard over. No, no, no. A lot of people are tired. We're okay with that right now. Uh, we have Book, Bain, Bilal, Cooper, Flag, and then Sar, and then off the bench, Bob Carrington is just going to be that guy. Again, he's been phenomenal this season. It does kind of suck to take his starting job away, but like, it's it's Desmond Bain. He's 50, 40, 90. 12 points per game. Ah, it's, he's 50, 40, 90. Um, so yeah, Kevon Looney, uh, um, Bob is here at the two. They got... Oh, that's because Desmond Bain is technically a three in game. Hold on, let's fix that. His overall sh might go up too. It goes down. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Am I out of touch with my 2Ks nowadays that Desmond Bain at the two don't make sense? I don't know. I actually think there's one more trade to do, and it's for another four because we gave up Santi Aldama. I didn't want to give up Santi Aldama. Who is this Chris Morgan guy? He's the 10th overall pick this year. Oh, uh, whoa. I didn't realize we had all the second round picks in the world. We should have been throwing them around. All right, let's go get a back of four, man. And then that's going to be it. That's it. I'm not even looking for him to be, like, great. He's got to be playable. Oche Abaji, he is playable, but he's only 6'5". He, he is having a really good season, though. But he's more of a wing to me than a four. Like, Mo can play some four. Every four that they're offering us is 6'5". <laughs> I don't want a 6'5 four, man. Or what about a 6'4 four, four, man? I'm trading for Mo Wagner, man. We're going to make Mo or iHeart um, the back of four. Yeah, it's going to be Mo. Mo played here before, didn't he? Wasn't he a wizard for a little bit? Yeah. He was a wizard for a season and a half, it looks like. Um, memories. Memories. If you if you were there for that time, you've been a, a for lifer, basically. Um, and yeah, he's not going to play a lot, but I just needed the minutes to just look a little bit better for the second half of the season. He might not play a single second in the postseason. No, no. We're going to get there, though. Jokic wins MVP. Rookie of the year. Man, his stats actually look elite. <laughs> oh, my God. 18, 12, and 5. Two blocks and a steal. Oh my. Uh all right, Jalen Tyson most improved. Do we get executive of the year? We don't even get exact. Oh, they won. They lost 19 games. Y'all deserve it. Y'all deserve it. Washington Wizards Cooper Flag is all NBA second team in his second year in the NBA. And he can't even shoot yet. I'm telling you, boys, if we don't win this year, we guaranteed to win the next year. He's all defensive first team, too. You got him and Alex Sar, and then you also got Isaiah Hardenstein. Oh man, who's scoring on us? So we were the three seed. We were great. Um, not great enough to be the one or two, but we got the Detroit Pistons, they got Jeremy, DeAndre Aiden, Quentin Grant. Wow, they changed a lot over these last couple seasons. And I kind of like that roster, other than them not having a ton of shooting. Game one, we win, and it is a Cooper flag game. Game two, we lose, and um, I guess that's fine. Game three, we win. Here's the, here, nope. You know, this is what I get for trying to use a regular season rotation in the postseason. Joe, they want Desmond Bain off the bench right now. Bub Carrington playing that nice. I will tr we'll, we'll try it. Game five, we win. Game six, no game sevens. We get out of there. Maybe Bub really was the answer, and I trade for Desmond Bay for no reason. So here is the Cavs. They're the same team, but now they start Jalen Tyson over Dean Wade or Karis LeVert or Isaac Okoro. Um, and he just won most improved player, too. So he's having a phenomenal season. There's a Bilal Koulibaly game. He hit six threes. Bilal is basically a 40% three-point shooter in this universe now. We got him better. Um, that's okay, though. We lost game number two. This team is better than us all regular season. Doesn't matter in the postseason. Don't look like it does. We're in the conference finals, and it is the Indiana Pacers. They got Jarris, Pascal, and Miles as their three through five. A big lineup. Starting five is pretty normal, though. Um, and then we got Denver and Minnesota on the other side. A good old-fashioned rematch. Game one, Cooper Flag, 28-16 and four. Who passed up on Cooper Flag? Who was it again? I don't remember, but you you out your mind for even doing that because I ain't seen you in the playoffs yet. He was Bilal Koulibaly with a perfect, near-perfect game. I wish he passed the ball a little bit more. Game three, we win two. Here's the book game. So we had a flag game. We had a Bilal game and then a book game. And then in this game, who was it going to be? Um, uh, Mo Wagner's game? Let's see who it was. It was Bilal again. Seven three-pointers. Come on, Bilal. Don't show him everything. We get a Jokic versus Sar final. It is Cooper Flag versus Aaron Gordon. It is Bilal versus MPJ. And then we got Bub versus 
Brown and then Book and DeJounte or uh, Jamal Murray. Game one, win. Julian Stroth off the bench, great game. That's that's one of the worst things when you have a player off your bench have like a career night and it's wasted because you don't win. Game two, it's us as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we're up 2-0. We're up 2-0. Game three. Oh, we're up 3-0. Mmm, Cooper Flag with almost a 2020 game. Get him that finals MVP in year two. Come on, dog. That's and he shot 40% from three in the finals. He was nasty. He was nasty. What did, what did Desmond Bain do in this series? Oh, you, you know, it was a worthy trade. It was a worthy trade. It was it was worth it. How about that? He came in, he helped us sure up that guard position slash wing position, and just like that, we win the championship. It only took was that three years? Come on, man, follow the blueprint. Go get Cooper Flag and trade for Devin Booker and trade for Desmond Bain, then trade for Mo Wagner. That's the recipe, Washington. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.